What's up people and welcome to Freelancing with Chris of Emery. I'm Chris of Emery and today I wanted to show you my animated stream setup and all its animations and stuff that I've been adding since I started doing my weekly art streams about 9 months ago. So what I want with this video is basically just to show you what's possible and hopefully inspire more artists to go out there and do some crazy stuff with their streams. This will not really be an in-depth tutorial but I will put a bunch of links down in the video description from where I've learned this stuff and uh, also where to download certain plugins along with info on my computer specs and what software I use. If you want me to dive deeper into a specific function on my stream in a future tutorial please let me know in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you dig what you see and for sure feel free to pop in on any of my future live streams. Let's go! Alright, so here's the base look of my setup. Obviously I got some overlays here, mostly just in there as a PNG image, but on top of it I've got some animated clips looping, such as the monitor with my website link above my head, the uh, bubbling slime tube behind me, the fan, and uh, also Victor up there. Victor is actually my little pet spider and he was initially just part of some Halloween decorations, but then I got too attached to Victor, so he's with me now all the time. I also show latest follower, subscriber and donation among the panels and they update automatically, as does the uh, chat screen over there and uh, the white bat audio screen to the left is just an image since I exclude exclusively play his music anyway. The character I use when I stream is rigged in character animator and is actually a very basic rig with just a head and an arm rigged on top of a body that is just an image. So the body is not rigged at all and uh, anytime I want I can grab and move my right arm like this but that's basically it when it comes to uh, body movement. So a really fun way of including the viewers in my stream is to uh, give them control of some of the animations through uh, chat triggers. And like you can see here in my Twitch panels, I've got chat animations in two levels. We've got follower level triggers and subscriber level triggers. And some triggers are animations involving my character and some are just for animations around my panels and overlays. Let's work them from top to bottom. I open up the uh, chat here and uh, we've got uh, Mind Blown to uh, basically trigger an animation where my head explodes. We've got Chest Burst for all you alien fans out there, shout out. We got hey, hi or hello, actually uh, triggering both my character to wave but also a separate animation where my friend Toady here pops in and welcomes hello. you to the stream. Of course, whenever someone wants to spread some love, we got the love command and hearts pop out of my eye sockets. So uh, that's the follower level triggers. And uh, when moving on to the subscriber level, things get a little more intense. We've got gold which gives me a nice bath of hot gold game of thrones style ground folk king we got terminate that transforms my avatar into t1000 version of me and uh it will be activated until someone triggers another version of me or I manually change it. We've got Toad and uh, Toady pops in again and this time he tries to catch Victor up there, miserably failing of course. And uh, what else do we have? If uh, I'm starting to get a little slow or tired, a uh, subscriber can wake me up with Electro which also gives Victor up there a little kiss in the end. Then we also have Cronenberg, which uh, is a little bit of a celebration to the fantastic show Rick and Morty. And uh, yeah, let's leave it at that. All these triggers I can control myself whenever I want to through keyboard and also my stream deck. Oh, and I also have this deck trigger uh, whenever I want to say thank you to someone. 
so that's the triggers and then we of course also have the alerts and uh, much of the theme on my whole stream is uh, surrounding my skull logo and I call the community the creative skull cult so whenever someone follows me on Twitch I show someone becoming the skull with this alert and then with a subscription it's obviously the next level of that so now the skull gets drained in gold donations and bits looks like this and uh, we've got the host alert with an old school TV and then of course we also have the raid alert so that's a quick look on my animated stream setup uh, make sure to check video description for links and let me know if you want any special breakdown video in the future special thanks to the uh, twitch subscribers and youtube members creative skull cult forever and see you next time Oh my god, Steggy, what the hell is happening, holy shit, I'm spamming the grenades. <laughs>